Hello. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm going to be introducing this uh, sweet bridge card. And there's definitely many options with this card. So I'm going to show you my first one, which is a Happy Mother's Day card in memory of my mother. Um, but anyway, um, as you see here, what you do is you flip the bridge. <laughs> And then you have a little surprise underneath. I always like little surprises underneath. And then you go ahead and flip again and you have your sentiment inside. This card can be a lot of fun. You can decorate it in many different ways. All right, so you can see here DSP, DSP on both sides. I always uh, have a tendency to do that. Then um, here um, you have your standard card, card stock, your white card stock, and then your DSP on top of that. Here, just the standard three by four card stock. A lot of times you just go ahead and put strips here. I put a whole piece on here that is absolutely not necessary. This is your standard card size bridge card. Then here's another one that I did. Again, here, both sides always will have the bridge. I like that reinforced part. Um, and again, here, you open that up. Here's your little sentiment, your little surprise. Then you open that center up, and there is more. Here is where those strips are. And you can decorate here if you like do uh, whatever you would like to do. Here's another card done in Bethany Barnard's class uh, this past month, and uh, very cute uh, bridge card. You see the DSP here. She used, obviously, the curvy set for this. And uh, again, here, just the DSP strips, and then you're inside. All right, so these are the cards that are standard size. And what I like to do is I love to work with cards and more. So we are going to be working with the cards and more here with this one. All right, so here we're going to use the hand penned cards and more. And here is your bridge. Again, here I went ahead and stamped. Here I've used uh, much more DSP and um, I used the vellum as you can see here. And, um, and then right here um, I've used the cards of more the three by four cards, use the three by four cards. I use the envelope for this and I'll explain that in a bit but you can see the different ways, the different things you can do with this. All right, so um, we're going to be making this card using the cards and more. Uh, when I did this one in particular, I did use the envelope, all right? And I'm just gonna explain that real quick. Uh, here are two pieces, the two pieces from the envelope. You would not have to pull apart an envelope by any means, what you would do is you could easily take one of the three by four cards and just cut uh, your strips right here. And each of these strips is one and a quarter inch by four. So you could easily just cut one and a quarter, one and a quarter, and put your two strips there. All right, you don't have to pull apart your envelope. I just wanted to see if I could just use the pieces of the cards and more for this. All right, so um, so when you do take this envelope apart, uh, I did use this part of the envelope, and that's what this is and that is. This is actually uh, 11 sixteenths, okay, by six, all right? Um, <clears throat> And so what you have to do is first cut it off right here, okay, at that crease, right above the crease, and then just go 11 sixteenths by six. And 11 sixteenths by six, you should have two strips, and you should be good with that. Then I just pulled this apart and started cutting it apart. And as you see, I still have more for other projects. So I just wanted to try that. This time I um, will not cut up another card. So 
For this card, what we're going to be using is a six by four card instead of the envelope. I'm gonna use a six by four card and all I'm gonna do is cut off three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters of an inch by six to make that work instead of the envelope. Okay, so let's look at this um, and see what we need. We're going to need two three by fours for this. So I'm going to be using this one. And I still am going to use the same one inside because I really do like it. Of course, I could go with a, um, a different uh, background, which would work, work just as well. I might still do that, but just to have something different. And then you can write your sentiment and put in your, um, put in your own sentiment if you would like, if you like to stamp. All right, um, so I need two three by fours for this card. I need then uh, two six by three and a quarter inch strips from the six by four. I need six and a quarter by one inch of the vellum. Please, when you uh, go ahead and tape these down, it is uh, highly suggested that you use the um, double-sided uh, tape that is the best. The glue does not work um, well, it definitely crinkles it up, so don't use glue with this. And um, also, um, I, you know, I did use the glue dots, but, but they're not strong enough, so I like it to stay more, so um, definitely this. And I might even add a little more tape here and here at the edges, so for that, um, you also need, now again, this is a lot and you might not want to use your vellum this way, um, but uh, I use a whole piece of vellum, which was a six by four and one eighth, all right, six by four and one eighth, it's going to go down. Then my two strips, as I showed you before from the envelope, and then my three by four, as you saw earlier, okay? I do have one little strip that's three by three and three quarters, which I'm going to stamp and color with my new blender pen, which is that soft succulent. So I'll stamp that in the uh, papaya and then go ahead and um, stamp. My, my coloring stamps are in the evergreen. I did use the evergreen for this. All right, so. I think we are ready to start, okay? And look at how this bridge card is built. Oh yes, and let's not forget, let's not forget, Sweet Strawberry is the stamp set that we'll be using today. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to make this card is you wanna go ahead and cut, and I'm gonna mention the other cuts for the other cards, but what you're going to do is you're gonna take your six by four card, as you have here, and you're gonna go to the bottom of it like this, and then you're going to go ahead and go over one and a half inches, and it makes it really easy because of course we all know that this end, I'm gonna do it this way, that this end is exactly one and a half so I can butt it up right to here to that edge, make sure it's nice and straight and go up to that four and a quarter line, not beyond, all right? So you're gonna go up to that four and a quarter. Then of course I do that on the same side, oh, on the other side and that's one and a half inches again up to that um, fold, all right? So that's how I would cut this. Now, the difference between this and the um, standard size card is this is one and an eighth inch, one and an eighth inch, and that is pretty much the difference, all right? Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. We can go ahead and um, start gluing on the pieces. And so I like to glue on my uh, centerpiece first. So I like to glue this on right here, and that's simply the three by four. 
And if you wanted to use white cardstock on this or something else, you feel free, but this works so well with the cards and more. And um, you're going to go ahead and glue that. Right down there. Make sure I'm in the center. So we're gonna glue this down. Just using standard glue. My Tombow is, this is Tombow, but my other Tombow is somewhere else. So I'm gonna move that away so that I can glue this down. And this is going to get glued down right in the center pretty much. Okay. So we got that done. Then we're gonna go ahead and we can take our we can take our vellum and I might as well put this vellum down here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do next. Probably should use my pick tool to get that off. My fingernails are not as good as I would like them to be. Yep, there you go. There you go. Got one in the center there, because it won't matter. There you go. Really, I should use pick tool, but that's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this right here. Not getting that side the way I want it. There it is. Gonna have to be a little careful with this. It does crinkle pretty easily. There you go. But it, it's perfect with that. This is two-sided. This paper is two-sided, so be careful. Okay, so now if I have that down, then I can go ahead and place this right in here. And that's gonna be right in the center. And so I'm gonna glue this down. See, that tape is, is, is very nice. I could go ahead and do this, but I will. I enjoyed this side, so. Bye bye, beautiful side. As you can see, this hand pin set is to die for. But anyway, I might get another set just because I love it so much. I just did that with the. Um, I just I used these guidelines right here, and here to help me center. And I'm all set to go. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Let's see how easy and fast that is. And then I want my two little pretty sides that I had. Well, they did disappear, so we'll wait. <laughs> and we can go ahead and um, we can glue on the bridge, but probably stamping would be best next. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp, and um, as you saw, I used the, the large and the small flower, and then I did use their, their filler. And what I did is, how I did this, is I went ahead and used a block, a long block, and I put them in the way I wanted them when I did this. I put them in the way I wanted them, like right here and right here, just like that. That's how I want them. And then I pick them up
I like to use my right, so I am going to use the Evergreen, okay, the new one. And to do that, I am going to go ahead and the, the trick to this, I know some people really don't like these on this and are concerned, but the trick to this is to take your time and just make sure that you color it in. That's all it is. Just take your time and color it in, make sure. So I'm just taking my time and going across and coloring it in. Okay, they're both colored in. I'm just gonna go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna go like that. And I'm just going to eyeball it over here. I actually wanted it this way, so I wanted it straight. So I can kind of make it straight here. And I'm gonna go here, that's one. And so I'm not going to change up the positioning of these at all. And again, just the most important time, the most important thing with this is really take your time and make sure that you covered it. It, it really works. I do this, I buy the, and my customers always buy this, um, these pens, these writes, and I always tell them, you know, figure out which ones you really like, you know? Um, and I'm gonna do it this way. This is the, yeah, they both went in. Making sure, yeah, they both went in. So this one, I want them to, the little one to go in, so I'm just going right here to that side and corner, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And there you go. Those two are done. So I'm just gonna clean that off, that block. And so that's it. And you said they came out very nicely. Now I'm gonna use the, I can use the, hmm, what should I use? Should I use the, the freesia or should I use the pink? because I don't have to use the papaya this time. Ooh, decisions. What am I going to use? I think, we'll see. But again here, with this one, all I'm going to do is put those right on top. Those right on top, put that right on top. And then pick it up. All right. And oh no. Ooh, which one? Which one? Ooh, I'm gonna go bold. Going with the pink. Oh. I'm going with the polished pink. Ooh. That's bold. And again, when you do this, just make sure that you go over it well. You know, don't, just take your time. Make sure you cover it all on both of these. Just make sure, don't rush. I think that's the biggest thing with this, is, as you see here, is not rushing. And these will work beautifully. And sometimes the big surfaces I go over, because I say, mm, that doesn't look so good and look like it should. So, but there you go. And again here, what we're gonna do is, oh, I don't wanna put my head in here, so I have to bring this down a little bit. Um, so here we go, here we go. And it's a match. And it's a match. And there you go, yeah, that was a good choice. Good choice. And I'm going to do that to the other side. So there we are. Again, just making sure. I don't want to not have enough ink. 
I think that's the problem sometimes when people do that. Okay, now I've got to line it up again. Now, it, because of how we did our line up, it, it should be exact, so it should be fine. And there you go. Isn't that the sweetest? Isn't that the sweetest? Yes? Perfect. Now, <clears throat> sometimes if you're not perfectly happy, I'm not perfectly happy here. That one's good, but this one, I can just color that in just a little bit with the fine point. You won't even be able to tell. There you go. There you go. So that fine point a little bit here too. There you go. There you go. There you go. A little fine point. Perfect. All right. Now our bridge. Okay. So for our bridge, again, this has two sides, this paper. Make sure you're using the shiny side. And again, sorry, to do the bridge, all I'm going to do is take off this tape, this tear and tape. Again, this is an inch. I tried a thicker. It really didn't work. An inch actually is perfect. And this, I want to take it all the way to the end. So it's six and a quarter, okay? So now I'm going to do it this way, all right? So I'm going to go like this. And just take it right to the edge, right to the bottom. Glue it down, glue it down, right to the edge, right to the bottom. Edge right to the bottom. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do that to me. Well, there you go. Then I'm going to put my other piece down right here. See? Like that. Right in the middle. And again, I did use the tear and tape for this. This again is three quarters of an inch. If you're using the envelope, it will be 11 sixteenths. And this is by six. And so it'd be 11 sixteenths by six, or three quarters by six. Kind of put it in that center, not like that. Like that. Yay! There you go. And you see, I want, now, you don't have to do the other side, okay? You really don't have to do the other side. But I, I, I do like to do the other side, but it's not really necessary. And I want to see something, if we just kind of change it up, you know, we can do this just like this. Just to do something a little different, we could do it this way. But... As I already cut my piece and you could leave it see how nice it looks just fine looks great just like that all right and but I am just a stickler because I like it to be heavier I just do again you're gonna take tear and tape off and I just as you see put it on the edges Tear and tape is perfect for this. Put it right up to the edge. Right up to the edge. Right up to the edge. Cover it. Right up to the edge. That should be good. I had a little bit of a... Hmm. For some reason. Yeah, sorry. All right. And so then again, I'm just going to put that strip right there across. And I just, I just like that. I just think it's pretty, this is a pretty fancy card. This is not what we would call a cheap card. <laughs> this is not, uh, um, uh, and it, I shouldn't say cheap. This is not an inexpensive card. This is a fancy card that has fancy paper that uses, I don't know if I wanted it that way. I think I want it this way. It uses a 
lot of fancy DSP and everything else. So you just have to decide how fancy you want your card. All right, so there's that. Okay, so we are almost done, and you can see here, like this, yes, not fun. And so now we have that inside. I did that on purpose. And so what I'm looking for are those two strips, which are right here. And um, we can go ahead, as you saw, I did go ahead and stamp those with, um, and I stamped up here. So we can go ahead and do that. And I probably will use this same block because I like this block and put that away. I like my long blocks better. They're, they're easier to um, deal with, okay? But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna put that away, I put that away, I'm gonna use my dark evergreen. And now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do this again. This will come out very nicely. Now, I decided to keep it simpler. Okay, again, just make sure you take your time and make sure you hit your surfaces. That's all there is to this. Make sure you hit your surfaces and it will work out just beautifully. And that's going to be my bottom, and that's going to be my top. And you can only put so much on here, so you decide how you want that on there. And that's going to go like that, like that. And then this one again. And, you know, I, I do do a lot with my pens. And as I, I was saying, I have my customers always buy them. And then they can decide which ones they absolutely love and want to buy the actual pad. So, you know, that works out beautifully. Okay, so I want that going out this way. And so... So I'm going to go like that. There you go. And I can stamp that off. It's pretty dark. It's a beautiful color. I don't know, it's, it definitely is evergreen. And with evergreen, you know, you have a little bit of a blue in there, I think. I think that's what it is. Okay. So we got that, and we're going to take, make sure that this is all dry, and I'm just going to glue these down now. And you see how nice that tear and tape does with that, and again, this is one and a quarter by, um, what is this, one and a quarter by... Four? Is that what this one is? I'll have to I'll have to check it in just a second. Oh dear. A little smudgy on my fingers. Not good. Not good. There you go, that's gone, thank you God. And there you go. I'm gonna do the other side.
one and a quarter by four. That's what this was. One and a quarter by four inches. I always put it on the back so that <laughs> when I obviously forget. Now, you see here, this is basically done. This card is done. And you can embellish it with this or not. And it is sufficient. And now what we're going to do is make our label. I'm going to show you how I did that. And we're going to take that side. And what I do here, um, and I want to make sure that that's kind of not having any more. Ink on it anywhere. Now this, I'm just going to use a small block because I'm only going to use the leaves here. I'm not going to use the whole thing, so um, so it's just going to be a leaf here and here and here. And I am going to use, as I did before now, I used the papaya before, but I think I'm going to use, as you see here, the papaya is down here. and But I think I'm going to use the pink because I have pink here, and um, I think that'll be fun. And so that's what I'm going to do. And basically all I'm going to do is color this here. Maybe I'll get some of that, who knows. But if I color this well, I might be able to do a couple of stamping. This is not, this one is not gonna be your exact stamping. So it doesn't matter what it does here. I can see here I've got a little bit of a, I'll do it that way, like that, like that. That's all I'm going to do, okay? And then what I'm going to do, which is really fun, I take my blender pen and go over it. This is what I do when I don't have the right color. The way I discovered doing this, <laughs> I do have the paper, but I wanted to show you this because what happened once is I used um, very vanilla instead of the white like I was supposed to. And so I took my blender pen, which was a color that was in the paper, and um, went over it. Now this might be too dark, but we're going to see. All I wanted to do was, this one is gonna be hello there. I think we're gonna just use hello there if it's small enough. I think it is. And I'm gonna use it right here. And uh, let's see, we'll see how that works. If that's gonna be, that might, I might have, that might be too dark. But that's what happens when you try something. Yeah. But just go here. It's going to be a hello there. I make it nice and dark so that I can see it. And let's hope so. If not, we'll just do another one, but that's fine. I think I'm going to do it right here. That looks like a good spot. Hello there. And then I will put my B on the other side and it came out just fine. It came out just fine. So what I'm gonna do with this, of course, is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. It seems a little dark here. 
So I'm gonna just blend that out. Just blend it out. Yeah, so it's more uniform in color. Yeah, there it is. It's a little darker than I would like, but we're good for all intents and purposes. And here, one and two. And so here I'm gonna close this so that I kind of have it centered where I want it. Right there, perfect, perfect, hello there, there we go. Let's see a little bit of a, there we go, that I forgot, I shouldn't have used glue. Don't use, do not use glue. Um, because it, it is buckling, I'm going to go ahead and take it off. I'm not sure why it buckled. I am not sure why this buckled. But I'm pretty sure I... Oh, because I used the glue. I did use the glue. No, no, you can't use glue. You cannot, as you just saw, you cannot use glue on this. There's just no way that you can use glue on this. All right. So, um, I thought I did the tear and tape. You have to do the tear and tape on this vellum. All right. So that's not an issue. Uh, what I go ahead and do is just cut off, um, another piece here. I think I still have time. I hope I still have time. I have, oh, I ran over. Okay. So I ran over. I did want to say what I would do here. Sorry about this. I would go ahead and just take um, the tear and tape. Do not. Just take the tear and tape and go ahead and do that. I might be able to do that if I do the tear and tape correctly. So let's see if I can do the tear and tape correctly here real quick. I'm going to put that right through the center like that. So, tear and tape. So now I'm going to take that tear and tape. And put that, see, that's, that's it. That's it. So do not <laughs> use glue <laughs> on this vellum. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. All right. Always good to see a faux pas made, I guess. I might put a little vellum right there or a little glue dot right there eventually. Here, I'll put the vellum here. I mean, the tear and tape here, tear and tape there, and then we should be good. It, it really, it, 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 it just, it's just strange. Or maybe you guys know this. I mean, I, I, I haven't worked with vellum that much. Maybe y'all know already all about the no glue on vellum, but I think I have put glue on the thinner vellum, but this is a little bit thicker. Sorry, this is taking a little few more minutes than I wanted. I've been having a, a technical day. No one 
everybody to just have one of those days that just isn't working as well as they sometimes can. So that's my day today. But that's okay. I made it. <laughs> and I really do want to use, I could have put a blue dot down there, but I'm going to use this instead and hopefully take it off. Let's see if I can do that. I can, I can. There you go. There you go. None the wiser. None the wiser. And that, that'll definitely pan out. Then I'm going to take my little sweet bug and I will, I actually do glue them on, but this time I'll just put a glue dot on. him on like that like that like that there we go there's my card I hope you enjoyed very easy obviously I will post all the measurements and I'll post again the only different measurement really is the one and an eighth cut um, versus one and a half cut everything else. Of course, this is not going to be six inches long uh, down here. This is going to be um, um, a one by five and a half and then a three quarters by five and a quarter. So um, that's the only difference in these two cards. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Thank you for watching. And happy Mother's Day, everyone.